Hello everybody, um, this is Jesse here coming at you with another uh, little uh, news briefing. Um, and this is uh, in regards to uh, this 100 foot crucifix built in honor of John Paul II collapses and crushes a man to death just two days before he is declared a saint. Um, and obviously this, uh, he was, uh, he was ca uh, John Paul II was canonized on a, as a saint on um, the 27th I believe of April. Um, but I'm not going to touch on that, but what I really wanted to touch on was the aspect of this cross and specific of what type of cross it is. Now, I was like looking at the pictures here, and you can't really make it out here too well on this picture or this one. But if you scroll down, and if you look right here, you see this distorted figure of what is, you know, supposed to be Jesus Christ. And um, and if we scroll down a little bit more, we see here that this was the curved cross with a statue of Jesus weighing 1,320 pounds fixed to the top, was designed by sculptor Enrico Job in honor of John Paul II's visit to Brescia in Lombardy in 1998. It was installed in a scenic location near Sivo in 2005. Now again, go up here and if you look at this picture you can clearly see that this is um, this is almost a perfect resemblance of the uh, broken cross or uh, the distorted cross broken cross um, which was erected as a curve in honor of John Paul II now if we go <coughs> here there's a book written by Piers Compton called The Broken Cross, and obviously, again, we can see, and you can see all the popes uh, that, that have used this in the past, Pope Paul VI, uh, both John Pauls, uh, Benedict, and now uh, Pope Francis, here you can see it again, and again, this is another depiction of it, so, I mean, all over the place, <coughs> and uh, I wanted to read you a quotation from this book. Here you see Pope Francis with it. And if you look at this crucifix, all you gotta do is look real carefully and it's the same um, it's the same cross. It's the same uh, broken cross. And um, again there you see all these pictures of him sporting this. And here's uh, little Scorzelli, Sculptor 1921, 97 this is the designer of the Broken Cross Crozer. Now, here we see Pierce Compton in his book, The Broken Cross, Hidden Hand in the Vatican, 1981, explains that the bent crucifix is... This is what I really want to bring your attention to. is a sinister symbol used by Satanists in the 6th century that had been revived at the time of Vatican II. This was a bent or broken cross on which was displayed a repulsive and distorted figure of Christ, which the black magicians and sorcerers of the Middle Ages had made use of to represent the biblical term, Mark of the Beast. Yet not only Paul VI, but his successor, the two John Pauls, and now Benedict XVI, and now Pope Francis, carried that object and held it up to be revered by crowds who had not the slightest idea that it stood for Antichrist. And again, here we have all these popes now sporting the same cross, and we have a lot of people wandering after this system, and also, more importantly, more so than all than Benedict at least, wandering after this Pope, marveling after him, and yet here he is uh, carrying this uh, cross which is symbolized in and of itself as Antichrist, as that man of sin who sits in the temple of God, declaring himself that he is God. So um, I figured I would bring this to your attention. Um, I'll post the links below, and also um, I would highly recommend that you watch this video. I will post this link here too. Uh, 2014, a global shaking of all things, prophetic events of April 2014, by Fadakev 213, and uh, it's it's very 
very interesting. And um, I've said it before, and I'll say it again, that I think we need to come out of the uh, preconceived ideas of modern theology of how the end times are being portrayed today and start getting back to what people in the past, mainly prior to 1948, um, believed about in the so-called aspect of the end time events and um, you know the Vatican and these types of things because um, the evidence is just overwhelming so um, truth be told truth be known stay safe God bless we'll see you next time bye bye